wave, watch for the sharks bounce. Sharks bounce. Sharks bounce. I gave it up and talking Cuban links. Uh, tell her ain't no weak link in my Cuban link. Only like my only like my only age. age. We was ganging since the platinum fubu days. I got dreams of being over action movie. Yeah. Listen, babe, it's so good you think I'm cool with yeah. Okay, my diamonds dancing, I can Lisa Ray. Life is hard, but it's easy being truthful, baby. Baby, for real, for real. overload, overload. This is like I got like my pinky, my pinky. Money, baby, we don't beg with ain't ours. Bet it back, I bet I match it like the same style. Chopsticks for beef from shutting PF chains down. I gave you prophecy, my first one, then you lame down. Luckily, so, but it wasn't for me. Still the flow raw, peep the way I bubble in these streets. Who can with me? Nikki, baby. Go, go, go. We want back ends. Back in. Wipe my sins. Wipe my sins. They can't win. They can't win. No new friends. No new friends. Football fans. Football. They sleep again. They sleep. We wake them up. Wake up. The champs is in. Champion. We want back ends. Back in. Wipe my sins. Wipe it. Wipe it. They can't win. They can't win. No new friends. No new friends. Football fans. Football. They sleep again. They sleep. We wake them up. Wake up. The champs is in. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up, the cake up, raise up, or make us do something. We don't want to bite down on you, right now on you. Juke to the left, they dodging it. Can't play the role, you flodging it. Waiting on the right for the stars in it. Four by four, double parking it. Wanna play like cars in it. Where the right flag, they forfeit it. Now I got a ring too gorgeous. Damn, I gotta treat it like forges. It sound like I don't wanna scratch it. Try to take the ring, I'ma tackle you. I guess I'm a Super Bowl bachelor. Go hard in the gym, no cameras. I think I see blood, no Dracula. I'm an animal, eating up amateurs. Too active, y'all can't handle it. No, no taxing, we'll dismantle it. Taxing, shake up the building and ramble it. With the shit up the critics and analysts yeah. come through dripping i'ma set it off Drip. game at the game you can bet it off quarterback got range if you broke them all range. quarterback did an option and set it off duck duck goose line record coming through Ooh, yeah. hit him with the spin of the jew Ooh, yeah. we gonna blow your block like a new new year and i spend a dime every two all right Don't guys and we're back here Cleveland Browns franchise, Lincoln Wiley taking over as the head coach. So, we're going to have to jump into the start of the season with it. Uh, right now, we're one and one. Just trying to see here if we want to negotiate with the uh, Brienne Body Town here. Uh, I think we would like to bring him in. I like to use him as the slot corner. Uh, kind of up his signing bonus a little bit. They can't win. Up they can't salary. win. No new friends. No new friends. Football fans. Football. They sleep again. Offer. They sleep. We wake them up. Wake up. The champs is in. Champions. Right, we, we have them back. back in. Nothing in. else. If we don't get him or we can get an upgrade no at the corner, no we can also just trade him away. They sleep again. They sleep. We wake them up. We want back in, back in, wipe my sins, wipe my sins, they can't win. No offense we are running is a vertical zone run and then the defense we're running is the 46 defense so unlike most channels who will switch to that for the scheme fix i am actually running that scheme uh, when we simulate these games because i want it to be accurate and so far it hasn't really worked out for us great but we're gonna stick with it 
So here we are going into the Jets game this week. I watched the full game. There we go, we got the right choices there. I got that taken to go. I'm gone. A lot of these really lost. They, they broke. They think it's my fault. No car. I want that car. I'm dripping. I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. But she love you. Don't cut your. Yeah, yeah, Reynolds yeah. Vinci is white. Limited Louis. That's light. Rape in the city. That's light. LED. Look at the lights. We the ones don't like. But you look too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. I went from feeling all kites to putting it in my block. Look what you sweater is drill. Somebody give me a drill. These ain't like the cops. Gossip and more than a in jail. I had. I make you get off the. Think that I made it. They can't be my friend, so they wanna be out. If I see them right, yeah. playing, and I'm in that spaceship, I'm dropping the top. Feel like my feet ain't no happy but late, and I'm calling the guap. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we'll see the New York Jets and their rookie quarterback from USC, Sam Darnold, as they get set to match up with the number one overall pick, Baker Mayfield, and the Cleveland Browns. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday night football. And on the call, as always, is Brandon God and Charles Davis. We are just a stone's throw away from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. Hi again, everyone, that, with like Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. The losers their last time really out, so they'll look to make amends here. Really and one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they come in at an early... The children will groan. It's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. Andre Roberts now to return it. Oh, good move. Oh, wow. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. Would have been horrible. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. Under center, it'll be the Southern California native standing at 6'4", Sam Darnold. And frankly, this is the type of game that a great quarterback relishes because 0-2, on the road, everything's against Sam him Donald and his here. team. No one can expect them to win. Sometimes you band together real tight in that situation, and if he plays really well, they've got a chance to get that done. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First, first and two. Coming out of shotgun with our base 4-6 defense. Now a first carry for the former nice Cleveland by Browns. Perot. Really nice run by Perot when he beat him down. And he'll be taken down, but not before so he not, gets not in great, the uh, territory. rush defense to start for us here. The numbers for have Corral to be in last week's game. 15 carries, 73 yards, and a touchdown. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt. And he's taken down. But there we go. We get the sack on the very next play, but we lose Emmanuel Ogba. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Start less than ideal as they already face a second and long. Let's go! Green 39! Out of the shotgun, there's Darnold. It's caught by Quincy Anunua. And he'll take it down, shot at the 45 at the 46. 
They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. The third down. Good stop. We need. Darnold from the gun. He's going to let this one go deep. And that one nice complete. Up. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult That's why we want to keep Denzel Ward around. That guy shuts down the entire side. Receivers, as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right, and this will and they be miss a scoreless it. game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away That's thanks a to good the start for us. Give up no points on that drive. On the road. You're trying to Hopefully get Baker can put some points on the board for us. A setback right out of the gate. And now Cleveland geared up so to the only the changes field. I made to this team were I traded away Tyrod Taylor and a draft pick to the Giants for Sterling Shepard. I traded well, uh, for Trent Taylor from the 49ers uh, because he was on the trade block. I traded for him using just like a fourth round draft pick and my, my fifth string corner. Through the defense. Um, and then I also just the traded away Jamie for Collins a for a draft pick. Browns opted not to pick a running back with their first two selections at number one and four in the and then first we also, round. I believe, traded, we traded for Joe really Mixon. Uh, I believe that was just a draft pick. A nice run there, and that's and good. another, good maybe a, another backup is, linebacker nice is all we had to give up for him. So first and ten now from the 30. This is Joe Mixon, and he will lose no yardage for here to the 31-yard line. Run. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So add that tackle for a loss to the two that he had a week ago. Be and second and 11. Right now. It's going to be another yeah, handoff. They really stop us in the back He's also patting his guys on the back, his defensive front, because they're keeping him clean, meaning no one's getting to him as a blocker. He's able to run to the football, and the plays he's making, he's spilling them in the offensive backfield. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Alert, alert. Hurry up, hurry up. From the gun, Mayfield. And he's got his man, that's Landry. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Just what the Browns needed there, good for a gain of 17. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but that's I why we're keeping Baker in here. Practice, there's a lot of talk about that guy how they're going to increase the some throws yeah, that are beautiful. Getting the playmakers involved, you mentioned that to and me. I did go in and adjust the playbook yeah, I think a lot to, of think to a little bit more really gets on them and plays that Lincoln them. Riley would Most use. There's a lot of pistol, a lot of shotgun in this, a lot of bunch sets, four wide receivers. Mayfield to the right side and complete to Njoku. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The numbers for Njoku from a week ago, 10 catches, 100 yards on the nose, and a score. And they think they have a matchup advantage in this one. They're going to try and find some space for him to work and make sure he touches the football. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Touchdown. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. David and Joku, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Browns have taken the early lead. Three weeks, three touchdowns. It's obvious they've looked his way early and often in the red zone this year. 
and that's usually a pretty good place to find a tight end in the NFL. Now the extra point. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. A drive that time of six plays, and it's capped off by the Browns touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Roberts on the return. Shifts by him. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. And that only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe as a double shot so of coming out in a nickel in first and ten, which is rare for our team. And even if he missed, confident in their defense. That they Thank goodness that was a terrible throw by Donald. But that one incomplete. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. One thing I also did, tone. since we run a lot of 46 Nasty, defense, a lot of bear, um, I also made sure that a lot of the play calls man-to-man, because -man, traditionally in a bear so defense, it is a lot of man-to-man -man blitz and scheme. Second down and 10, Darnold. Throw here is incomplete. And here's the starting crew defensively for Cleveland. I'm looking at Jabril Peppers in the secondary. The 25th pick in the first round in 2017. Played in 13 games, 57 tackles and an interception. But what I like most about him is versatility. He can play well, so quarterback, Brown, just a but I think few. he's best at safety. Free agents, we brought in Navarro Bowman, and we brought in David Amerson. A little dump off for Corral, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice and it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Avery Williamson there to make the stop. The Jets and Browns, two cellar dwellers from a year ago, and they didn't get in that season week five in Cleveland. Miles Garrett, it was his NFL debut. He got two sacks, but it was former Brown Josh McCown throwing two second half touchdown passes to lead the Jets to the victory. Set. And every time I hear about the Jets and Browns playing, you know what I think about? Duke Johnson. The first ever Game Monday Night Football game. The Jets at the Browns, Cleveland won, I believe it was 1970. It was indeed. I just happened to have the note here. I don't know this off the top of my head, but September 21st, 1970. Hurry up, here we go. On third down, Mayfield. Terrible sack by Baker. He goes down. That's not good. We can't, we can't be allowing that. That's something this coaching staff told us they want to see a lot more of this season. I imagine the entire time in the offseason when these guys were taking breaks from watching film, when they were out running and doing all the other things, all they were thinking about is how do we create more sacks? They loved what they just saw there. Because they were near the bottom of the league in 2017. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. Dancing away at the 35. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a 7-yard return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Now I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. 
They want to take a shot here. They can go ahead and do it. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll make it second down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nine, The shotgun snap for Darnold. And the Browns passer gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Emmanuel Ogba in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Mayfield looks to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Take Carradine in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. In a play like that, with how far he had to go to make that sack, shows how athletic defensive ends have become in the NFL. And not just athletic. This is coached in a big way. Run to the football at all times. How about him never giving up on it and pursuing all the way across the field? So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Hurry up, here we go. Second down, here's an option right. And now he'll tuck it and run. Shows off the quick feet as he takes this one up to the 20. The keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now Mayfield. Underneath for Johnson. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be fourth down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Here's Britton Colquitt now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. And the crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Let's go! From the 50, it's Darnold. Herndon's got it complete. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. That goes for a gain of 31. 
sometimes it seems like a tough world out there. Many thought Sam Darnold would go number one overall to the Browns, and he fell to number three to the New York Jets. I think he fell to a great situation. He gets to go to New York with a rebuilding team, take over the job right then and there. And while many were expecting Broadway Baker Mayfield, instead, they got sudden Sam Darnold. And I think the Jets fans are going to be very happy to have him. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A first down carry now for Crown. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Here's Darnold now on second down. His throw incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. The Jets on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 11. Hurry up, here we go. Boom, landed. Now it's Darnold. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So he gets an early chance to redeem himself, and he's able to put that one through. And how happy is he that he's able to get that second chance so quickly after the first miss? Gets his confidence back up, and who knows? They may need him for an even bigger kick later in the game. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Browns' offense trotting back onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. We'll watch that leverage on this drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, here we go. Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. The Browns on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. All right, here we go. Blue Liney! Blue Liney! And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. 7-3 the score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. They've got a third down and a yard to start things out. All right, here we go. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. 
And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the guns. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there, they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. All right, here we go. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down to mix it on the check down. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm wasn't it absolutely they saw it all the way ran to the football and caused a nice play for lost yardage that pass play wound up for negative yardage so here's second and 11. here we go now they'll run it now out of the gun and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there it's steve mcclendon that time who winds up getting him down Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. Right, and we said, nah, three, man, three, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete third down is a down both sides know they absolutely have to win and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback but pressure on the quarterback with contact that's how you end up winning it here's Britton Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Cleveland he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> Isaiah Crowell, he's all alone. The 30, 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Isaiah Crowell, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Jets get the quick strike touchdown. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again <laughs> and, and again, again, again and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is now 10-7. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Right, get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But oh. Blitz coming and down he goes. Darren Lee. Not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, 
I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here we go now. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. There defensively was Buster screen to knock it away. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. The Browns on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and 19. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Throwing Mayfield. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And we shift our focus to Isaiah Crowell. And no doubt he's come out of the gate strong only in week three, and you see the numbers thus far. And we always talk about identity, setting a tone, you know, getting, getting the groundwork laid for the season or, or for a game. And that's what they've done with the running game so far. It reminds me of when I first went to the University of Tennessee. And believe it or not, I was a quarterback for a day and a half. <laughs> and the first practice session, the first play we ran was 28 pitch, which is a toss sweep. And I remember the offense coordinator saying, that's our identity. That's our bread and butter. That's the basis of our offense. We got to get that down right here, right now. I think we're seeing some of that in this running game here. So did you not get that down, and that's why you were moved to the defense, or what? I, I don't know for that reason, but I do know I saw a couple of guys throw, and immediately they were saying, you know, you need to learn how to backpedal. Hey, you turn into a heck of a DB, though, partner. <laughs> the Jets on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Darnold. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt, certainly not what he wanted. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. As the offense comes out, we put our Madden spotlight on Baker Mayfield. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming. And taking those sacks, that's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now let's go. Three, 19. Second down, Mayfield. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurry up, here we go. Now a play fake here on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. 
So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Here we go now. Green 39. On second down, Johnson. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Mayfield. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And his kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in, and had just enough to get it done. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over, You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? right you're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away. And they're set to go out on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. And wow, now we've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something positive to be gained from it. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really <laughs> nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Second down, here's Crowell. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They keep it with Crowell on first. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Now a handoff to Crowell. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third-and-one situation. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. Here we go now. Darnold will throw it on third-and-one. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. And that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds his way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and ten. Now let's go! 
They go play action here on first down. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. to play in a tightly contested first half. More from Cleveland after this. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. First down throw from Mayfield. That's in Joku over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Mayfield on first down. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. To throw Mayfield. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Pass. And again, it's Mayfield. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. throw again. Here's Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown Cleveland. As his guys are in for six. And the Browns have moved out in front. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. The try here for the extra point. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 17-10 score. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. This quarterback now... 8 of 15 through the air, but it's first and 10 here. All right, here we go. 3, 19. 3, 19. Out of the shotgun. Here's Darnold. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Here we go now. Green three. Back to the air, Darnold on second down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Emmanuel Ogba in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Partner, I know the ball security's preach like crazy. But every now and then, you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now, if you're the offensive coordinator, what does it do ver if it was third and 10 versus third and much longer as it is now? Yeah, it changes everything in terms of play calling and the pressure you might expect to face on the very next down. Had to throw the ball away and save the yardage. He didn't get it done. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our Tiburon Studios here in Orlando. We'll take a minute and look ahead at what's to come this weekend in week number three. Some good games to look forward to in the early window, especially the one in Baltimore. A big one coming up for the Ravens as they'll have to do battle with the Denver Broncos. Lots to look forward to in the late games as well. One of the best being up in Seattle where we find the Seahawks taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And finally on Monday night, the Steelers return to the site of their last Super Bowl win as they face the Bucks in Tampa. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three.
Delay of game, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he rips that one incomplete there. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. On third down, Mayfield. And he's got his tight end in Joku. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and ten at the 46. On the run, it's Mixon. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Big Leonard Williams there on the stop. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Wide open receiver complete. He was over 100 receiving last week. He's over 100 now this week as he's got a first down as well. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. Mayfield now. On the move. To, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Leonard Williams. In there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. The Browns on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This will be third and a mile. All right, here we go. Blue line it. From the gun, Mayfield. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Here's the Jets' offense now, getting set to start off this third quarter. They were able to get the stop defensively, and now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. That's exactly what they printed up. 
stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> From our vantage point, that was just one bad play by the offensive line in a series of really good ones tonight. But I know that they're going to be really ticked off. It's a lot like a baseball pitcher losing a no-hitter late in the game. Tackle made there by Jabril Peppers. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and left. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong. And this is going to wind up a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on. Come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. There's Baker Mayfield as he and the Browns offense comes back out. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people. No errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. Here we go now. Green, 39. Mayfield on play action. And that is incomplete. Trent Taylor, the one he was looking for. Third down here. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. The Browns on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be third and 15. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Offside. Defense. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. So after the penalty, they're back to where they started. Third and ten. Now let's go. Green, 39. Now Mayfield. Eluding the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jordan Jenkins able to get in there and drop him behind the line. Like how they started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Here's Britton Colquitt now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. The New York set to take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a... Base is clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by David Amerson. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. 
And now Cleveland geared up to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. When Leonard Williams was picked in the 2015 NFL Draft, I compared him to Merlin Olsen, and I got a lot of grief about it. Did you just see that play there? Did you see how he made that move and made that tackle? That was Merlin Olsen esque. Yeah, you right just, there. I just perked up when you said Merlin Olsen. Yeah, a lot of people said, hey, that's too much, too far, and maybe it is early. Right, here we but go. I think this guy has a chance of fulfilling that. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. The Browns on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and nine. Here we go now. Underneath for Johnson. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good gain. Give him seven on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Now, as he's on to punt for Cleveland. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. We'll throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> See what happens. Hurry up, here we go. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Really well run route. So one play and they're already just shy of midfield. Hey, hey, hey. Now let's go. Green. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Here's Darnold now on second down. A screen complete to Crowell. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Here we go now. Green. On first down, it's Darnold. Seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. All right, here we go. On second and ten, Donald over the middle, and it's incomplete. Quincy Anoon with the intended receiver, and it's third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And he's going to be sacked. 
They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Emmanuel Ogbo, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Baker Mayfield leads the offense out for their next possession. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? There's always one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. Throwing Mayfield. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Jets have recovered. So the coach putting the blitz on. And remember, that coach former defender in this league he loves this yeah they love to see it happen because i think they just have that flashback about when they were playing right <laughs> that's what we were taught that's what we did and they and they use that same impact with their own teams and do the same type of teaching getting set to go here isaiah crowell in the offense trot back out there and we have seen a decline in the numbers where does the fault lie just him maybe the guys up front combination well as you and i both know it's almost always a collective deal but in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first Here half, picked up Play on what the defense game. was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the 7. 7 yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And there's a completion to the uh, tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Well, after getting the ball in prime position to score after a fumble recovery, you think you're in a great spot. But the defense on the field is saying not so fast, and they've held firm on the first two plays. Now Darnold. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Chris Herndon with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Santos with the extra point, and that will get him one closer. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it ends with a jet touchdown. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. 
It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Again, it's Mixon. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Browns on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and six. Mayfield looks to throw. And this is caught by Fowles, right side. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. The New York set to take the field. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? A first down throw, Darnold. Herndon's got it complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The Jets on third down. It has been a disaster. 0 for 8 thus far. This is third and 11. Now let's go! Blue Lady! Blue Lady! Darnold from the gun. And he's got a new one. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Here we go now. Green. Throwing again is Darnold. And he hits Herndon over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. 